How do you survive all these hours? Well, I survive these hours by having positive energy, both inside myself and around me. Um, my wife, very, very supportive of me doing whatever I want to do. And then just me always, I have so much fun. This is not work to me. So I'm exhausted right now. I've been up since, what time did we stream yesterday? So I've been up since noon yesterday. So I've been up for quite a few hours, but I feel awesome. I feel energized. I could talk to you guys for five hours today if you want to keep talking. But the way you do that is you build in those, like I talked yesterday, if everyone tuned in, if you haven't tuned in, that, go catch it on YouTube right now. But talking about uh, the fact that you need to set growth goals and not performance goals. And that gives you limitless energy. Because I'm thinking now about getting better today and, and impacting students today and making students better today. And so that's my energy. That's my coffee. Right? I mentioned before, I don't drink a lot of coffee. And the reason I don't need, I don't need the coffee is because you guys are my coffee. When I get on and I am helping students, it is the energy to power me through the rest of my week. Um, it really, 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 really feels good. Um, so that's how I get through the hours. Uh, the other thing is that I just put my mind over matter, right? And your mind is so powerful and so important that you have to find ways to get things done, to pull energy out, to do whatever it takes to do the things you need to do. And I think that's another thing that people struggle with when you get to college is that in high school, right? You're getting good sleep because your parents make you go to sleep and you don't have so, there's not so, there's a lot of homework in, in high school, but when you get to college, there's a lot of work, a lot of studying that has to be done. And sometimes it can be overwhelming to stare at that book. Oh my gosh, I did my five hours today. I can't study anymore. And so that kind of adversity, you've got to be able to put your mind past it and say, no, 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 no. What are my goals? Why am I doing this? Let's do this. Let's get energy. Let's suck it up. And you've got to be able to power through even when you're exhausted. And that will serve you when you're a doctor because I think <clears throat> anyone who's ever been in the hospital, it's an interesting phenomenon. If you ever worked in any industry where, where it's, it requires high levels of expertise, so even if it's like tutoring or, or whatever it might be, people always are the center of their own universe. They think that their problem is the most urgent thing ever. So, for example, patients will come to the emergency department and they're like, oh my God, I, have, I had a gallon of blood come out of my butt. I'm bleeding everywhere. I'm going to die. And they're frantic and they can't understand why you're calm and just kind of going through the, the motions and taking the notes saying, oh, okay, all right. You know, something. they think you need to do something now, right? Because it's urgent to them because it's new to them. Um, as a physician, I see people bleeding out of their butt every day, right? I see people having heart attacks every day. I see someone who can't breathe and needs a tube in their throat every day. So it becomes the norm. So I don't freak out like the patient is freaking out like, I can't breathe. Like, it's okay. I'll put a tube in. You'll be fine. We do it every day, right? So that's the same way uh, that, th so, what, sorry, let me rewind. So what I mean by that is as a physician, everything becomes kind of routine. And so you have to find ways to pull energy out when you have a patient at 2 a.m. who is extremely anxious about their chest pain. You have to find ways to say, okay, let me take that back. Let me summon the energy, even though I'm exhausted, I haven't slept, to have a 45 minute conversation about how their chest pain is really just heartburn and all they need is the Tums, and if we relax, they feel a lot better. So if you can now, in your earlier career, find ways to have a strong mind, push through things, then it'll serve you well when you get to be a doctor as well.